Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the classification of triangles or yung tinatawag nating types of triangles. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na yung bell button for you to be updated kapag meron akong latest upload. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. Triangles are classified according to the number of sides and measurement of their angles. So we know that in a triangle, we have different, different parts of it like the sides and its angles. And in our discussion today, those parts are the basis on how to classify the type of triangles. So the first one, we have here types of triangles according to the number, number of congruent sides. So we can classify triangles depending on the number of congruent sides. For the first type of triangle, we have here the Iskadin triangle. We're in, when we say Iskadin triangle, these are triangles with no congruent sides. So, sir, can you please give us an example of Iskadin triangle? I will give you the measurements like five centimeters, eight centimeters, and seven centimeters. As you can see, these measurements are different from each other. No equal sides, therefore, no congruent sides. And definitely, these measurements can represent or can form an iskalid triangle. Let's move on with the next example. Our next type of triangle, isosceles triangle. Two sides are congruent. So given these markings, we have this marking. It indicates that the sides are congruent. If parese ng markings or marking, ibig sabihin yung sides are congruent. And since this one is an isosceles triangle, meron siyang specific parts. Itong kanyang congruent sides, itong equal sides niya, ay tinatawag nating legs. While the sides, the side with the different measurement, this is your base. Okay, tandaan po yan. And let me give you an example of isosceles triangle. Let's try using 8 cm for this and 8 cm for this side or for this leg. So since this one is an isosceles, the other side is different from the two sides. So let's say this is 6 cm. Definitely, this one is an example of an isosceles triangle. Let's move on with the third example. We have equilateral triangle. Three sides are congruent, or in other words, lahat ng sides ay pare parehas ng sukat. As you can see, mayroon siyang markings 1, 2, and 3. Lahat ng sides natin ay mayroong markings ng ganyan. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng sides ay equal. So, sir, can you please give us a set of measurements that can represent or that can form an equilateral triangle? Basically, let's have this one. 5 centimeters. 5 centimeters and 5 centimeters. All of them are equal. Therefore, this one is an equilateral triangle with three congruent sides. Let's move on with the next type or with the next classification of triangles. Type of triangles based on the measure of its angles. So you're familiar with the different types of angles like acute angle or in the measurement is between zero or that is greater than zero but less than 90 degrees. You're also familiar with right angles wherein the measurement of the angle is exactly 90 degree. And I know you're also familiar with obtuse angle wherein the measurement is greater than 90 but less than 180 degrees. So let's start with the first one. We have here acute triangle. In definition, why do we need to call that as an acute triangle? Because all the angles are acute, meaning that the measurement of the angles is greater than zero, but less than 90. So as you can see in our illustration, we have here three angles, 48 degrees, 60 degrees, and 72 degrees. If all the angles are acute, therefore, that is an example of an acute triangle. So I hope na natutunan niyo yan. Let's move on with item number two, or the next example. We have here the obtuse triangle. 
When you say obtuse triangle, meaning one of the angles is obtuse. As you can see, we have here angle 128, which is classified as obtuse triangle, obtuse angle. Therefore, this one is an obtuse triangle. And sir, how about the measurement of the other angles? Obviously, these angles are all acute angles. Okay? So let's move on with the last one. For the last part, we have the right triangle. Right triangle is a triangle with one angle that is a right angle. So as you can see, we have here a box that indicates a 90 degree measurement of angle. And also, obviously, we have here a 90 degree angle. If meron kang 90 degree angle, automatically, that is an example of right triangle. And logically speaking, these angles are all acute. And dadagal lang natin yung new knowledge. When you say right triangle, meron siyang specific parts. The sides that are adjacent to your right angle are called legs. While the side that is opposite to your right angle is your hypotenuse, which is considered as the longest side of a right triangle. So I hope na natutunan niyo yung lesson natin about this. And in the next part of our video, I will show you or I will give you an activity wherein you can practice what you have learned from this video. So let's move on with the next part. Here's the activity. Match the name of the triangle with the triangle shown. So starting from letter A, B, C, D, E, F, we need to write the letter here if it matches the description of isosceles, equilateral, scalene, acute, right, and obtuse. So for isosceles, triangle, the bang definition natin, two sides are congruent. So we need to find an example of this one. Letter E is an example. Sir, why? Because we have here two congruent sides of the triangle. So this is letter E. While equilateral, okay, letter number two, equilateral, all sides are congruent, definitely there is letter D. Okay? Letter D. Because all sides are congruent, this is D. Iskaline, no sides are congruent, letter F. And for acute triangle, so I'll be choosing letter C because all the angles are acute. This is letter C, right? Obviously, that is letter A. And obtuse is letter B because it has one obtuse angle. So I hope you learned something from this video. And I will request na i-share nyo to sa inyong Facebook or sa inyong mga friends na nangangailangan ng knowledge about classifying or the different types of triangles. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.